So in this brief video, we will discuss connective tissue. So the general characteristics of connective tissues. Connective tissues, contrary, you know, in, in contrast to uh, epithelium, are well vascularized. There's a few, though, however, that aren't. There's always exceptions, um, and that is cartilage, tendons, and ligaments. And when you talk about the musculoskeletal system and start to understand what cartilage, ligaments, and tendons are doing, you'll understand why they don't have uh, blood vessels embedded within them. The cells are loosely connected if they're connected at all. Like epithelium, remember, was very tightly connected. Cells in connective tissue are loosey-goosey and kind of suspended often in what we call a matrix. And that matrix is going to be made out of fibers and quote-unquote ground substance. So the fibers are going to be proteins, and you'll have heard of collagen. So that's a really big uh, component of connective tissues. Um, elastic fibers, um, which allow uh, tissues to stretch and come back to into uh, shape. And reticular uh, uh, fibers, which are kind of like little tiny scaffolds. Think about like a loofah or a, you know, or a sponge. Um, those are kind of like reticular fibers. Ground substance is... Um, more like uh, stuff that holds the fibers and the cells together. So it's it, it'd be kind of like, well, it can range from very fluid like plasma in the blood or very, very solid to um, the, uh, the calcium and phosphorus and other uh, um, chemistry. What, am, what word am I looking for? Molecules, that's what I'm looking for. Um, stuff that, that hold, the, when you think about like bone, which is very, very firm. The general cell types that you'll find in connective tissues are fibroblasts, and those are the cells that actually make the fibers, make the proteins that make the fibers. You'll find macrophages, um, which are resident white blood, cell, white blood cells. They're highly mobile and important for immune re responses. And something called a mast cell, which makes heparin, um, which is an anti-clotting protein, and histamine. So the functions of connective tissues um, are in, and include um, binding, things like tendons and ligaments that hold muscles to bones and bones to bones, support, like your entire skeletal system is made out of bone, and that's um, a very, very, very important connective tissue. Protection, of course, bones are protective. They, uh, the bones of your skull protect your brain. Um, cartilage, adipose tissue is incredibly important as a cushion and um, insulation. And as I mentioned, yeah, insulation is another important function of connective tissue, and that's mostly adipose. And transportation, um, getting um, getting oxygen from one part of your body to another, and that's going to be done by the the red blood cells that are floating in your blood. So blood is a connective tissue as well. So these are the types of mature connective tissue that you have in your body. You have, and this is a, a list of from decreasing increase of the, the most dense up here with bone and the least dense, uh, which is blood and lymph. So you'll talk about bone in the musculoskeletal sequence. You'll also talk about cartilage, both um, all the, of the three different types. You have dense connective tissues, which are either regular, irregular, or elastic. Um, and you have loose connective tissue, which are areolar, adipose, and reticular. Some of these terms you will see in other uh, in subsequent lectures about specific organs that um, include things like uh, dense regular connective tissue, which kind of forms the like the meninges around your brain. Um, Adipose tissue um, is really important, and you'll hear about some of that when we talk about the skin. So. I just wanted to, with these two short lectures on epithelium and connective tissue, give you an understanding of what these tissues are and why they're important so that when you hear about them in subsequent lectures, you will have um, at least, you know, something to fall back on and remember what we were talking about, why they're important and why we're talking about them. So these are your learning objectives or your summary. Um, so what you need to know are what are the functions of your connective tissues, what are the components of the different co of your connective tissues, and what types of cells are found in your connective tissues. If you know all of that, then you're going to be ready for your quiz and ready for your exam. 
Thank you for your attention.